This section is about something called the Cameron Martin Gersonov formula. But just before we get to that, um, I think it's useful to have this little warm up exercise that will take care of something that comes up in the CMG formula. So for this, we're going to have a Brownian motion and some other process uh, called gamma t, both of them adapted to a filtration ft. And then we're going to look at this object, we'll call it mt. It's the exponential of this stochastic integral and this ordinary integral. That is a martingale. This is not the camera martin gersonov formula itself, it's just something that comes up um, when we discuss it. So, okay, why would this be a martingale? Um, first thing to realize is that this is an Itto diffusion. We know enough to see this now. Uh, we've got a stochastic integral here, and we know that stochastic integral processes, if you take them the integral from 0 to t, that gives you another process, another random function of t, which is itself an Itto diffusion. Uh, here we've got a, another integral. This one's just an ordinary integral, so in fact this one gives you a finite variation process. So it's like a Itto diffusion with no speed. So that makes the whole thing inside the brackets an Itto diffusion. And then we're taking the exponential function of that, and we know from Iso's lemma that if we take a nice smooth function of something which is an Itto diffusion, we get another Itto diffusion. So first point, it's an Itto diffusion. And now we see what we need to do um, when you're dealing with Ito diffusions. The ones that are martingales are the ones that have zero drift. So we need to work out the drift of this object, mt. All right, well, we've got, firstly, Ito's lemma. Exponential function of something. We know how to calculate the drift of the whole thing, then, in terms of the drift of what's inside. So let's do that. So first of all, we'll let yt be the thing that goes inside. So it's just this part. That's an Ito diffusion, and in fact we can see immediately what its drift and speed are by just writing this in its differential form. So we would say dyt is gamma t dwt minus a half gamma t squared dt, just directly from that. And therefore its drift is minus a half gamma t squared, and its speed is gamma t. Then we've got the thing we really care about is mt, which is x of that. So now we can apply Ito's lemma. Ito's lemma, remember, says that the uh, mt is, now what have we got? Our function is just the exponential function. Um, it doesn't have a separate dependence on time, so we don't need to worry about a partial derivative with respect to t. Um, we only need the partial derivatives of the function with respect to its single variable y, and that's easy because the exponential function's derivative is itself always. So first partial derivative is e to the yt again, so we've got that dyt, plus, and now we have the term that involves the second partial derivative, that's a half, times the second partial, which is again e to the yt times, I'll write it this way, the quadratic variation of the yt process.
So what's that? Well, dyt we can substitute in for this. Gamma t dwt. And for the other term, we've got the quadratic variation of y. Um, and remember, the quadratic variation of an Ito diffusion is just the integral of its speed squared. So this would be gamma t squared. Here the speed is gamma t dt. And if we've done that right, uh, we've got the dt bit here exactly cancels out with the dt bit here. So all we're left with is that. In other words, mt is an Ito diffusion that has a speed, this is a speed, but zero drift and is therefore a martingale. So you can regard that as just a little exercise, if you like, uh, how to show that this thing has no drift and is therefore a martingale. Um, why we should be interested in this particular expression is perhaps not obvious at this point, but uh, it will be very shortly. The cameron martin gersenoff formula. Here it is, the real thing. The general idea here is that we are going to have a Brownian motion, Wt, and the cameron martin gersenoff formula is a change of probability measure such that we'll change to a new probability measure under which this is not a Brownian motion anymore. Uh, it will instead become an Ito, Ito diffusion with a non-zero drift. Um, and you might wonder, what's the use of that? Well, the general idea is that um, by changing the drifts of the Ito diffusions you've got defined on your probability space, and you know, remember we've only just defined WC so far, but when we make our change of measure, we'll be changing the distributions of all random variables defined on the same probability space. So in particular, any ISO diffusions that are defined off that probability space um, will change their characteristics. It will turn out that they become other ISO diffusions with different drifts. And the ability to tinker with the drift of your ISO diffusions by changing the probability measure is quite a useful thing. Uh, in various ways. It's uh, something that will come back repeatedly in the course. Brownian motion to start with obviously has no drift, um, and the drift that we're going to try and make it have is going to be this thing, gamma t, Cadillac process. There's a restriction on what drifts we can add, which is this thing. Um, this is called the Novikov condition. And it's not a very restrictive condition. Uh, it's not something we shall even uh, take a lot of time to check most of the time. If you look at it, all it's saying is that the mean of a certain random variable has to be a finite number. Um, this is a positive valued random variable, obviously, and it is possible for positive valued random variables to have infinite mean. All we're saying here is that that should not be the case. We must have a finite mean for this. Um, the t here is a fixed t, so I should really have said the w and the gamma are processes defined for time between 0 and capital T, so there's a fixed capital T there. And all of this is under a probability measure p. which we're now going to replace with a different one. So we'll define a new probability measure Q by well, it's the same approach we've always taken to defining new probability measures. We'll do it by writing down what the radon nicotine derivative is. And all we have to do here, remember, is write down here some random variable which is positive valued and has mean 1, 
mean 1 under p, um, and that's enough to define a, a change of measure. And then we can go ahead and figure out, well, what are the properties of this new probability measure q that we've got. So what am I going to write down here? I need a positive valued random variable with mean 1. It's going to be this. which might look familiar. Um, this is the thing we were looking at just now um, and, and showing it to be a martingale. So that's obviously positive valued because it's the exponential function of something. Um, and it has mean 1. Well, why does it have mean 1, actually? The expectation with the p-probability of this, the whole thing, That whole expectation should be 1. Why is it 1? How can we see that at a glance? Well, the thing we were just doing um, previously was to show that this whole expression is a martingale. That's to say it's a martingale when you take capital T to be the time variable. So if you think of it as a function of capital T, that makes it a martingale. And the key crucial property of martingales is that they have constant expectation. So this expectation, whatever it is, must have the same value for all values of capital T. And that's the key martingale property being used there. Um, and we can easily now figure out what that constant value must be by just plugging in some convenient value of capital T. Um, the convenient value would be 0, and see what we get. Um, if capital T was 0, then both of these integrals would be 0, so we'd have e to the power 0, which is 1. And the expectation of 1 is 1. So with capital T is 0, um, this expression is 1. Not, not only is its mean 1, but it, it's actually 1 all the time with probability 1. Um, and therefore, by the Martingale property, this expectation must be 1 for all other values of capital T as well. So, positive value random variable mean 1. Therefore, this is a valid change of measure. And that's the camera martin Gersonov change of measure. Um, so that's all good as far as it goes, but it still doesn't really explain why we want to do this. Why, why this particular change of measure? What, what's so good about it? To explain that... Um, I need to introduce a new process, which I'll call WT tilde. WT tilde is going to be this. It's the same as W, but with a little adjustment applied, and, and the adjustment is the antiderivative of gamma. Or if we want to write that as a uh, in its differential form, dWt tilde is dWt minus gamma t dt. That's to say this WT tilde, this is an Ito diffusion whose speed is 1 and whose drift is minus gamma t. So that's that. Then here's the big conclusion that makes uh, some sense of all this. Under our new probability measure Q, WT tilde is a Brownian motion. Remember that being a Brownian motion, um, that property of a process, the property of being a Brownian motion, 
is something that concerns what the distributions of things are. It says that the increments are normally distributed and they're independent over non-overlapping intervals. So any property like that that ultimately comes down to what distributions are is something that you can change by changing the probability measure. And that's exactly what we've done. We've changed the probability measure. Therefore, we should expect that under our new probability measure, the W that we first thought of is possibly not a Brownian motion in it anymore. In fact, it won't be. And this WT tilde, which was not a Brownian motion to begin with, but some other iso diffusion, ends up being a Brownian motion itself. We should make it clear that um, both these guys, these are both well-defined processes. I remember a process is just a random function or, or a set of random variables indexed by t, so that they are defined on the sample space all the time, regardless of what probability measure you're using. And they have certain relationships between them. Namely, I'll write them in differential form. There's this one. And let's write that the other way around. So th these two things are, are both true regardless of which probability measure we're using, P or Q. But now we can use these relationships to say something about uh, what happens with P and Q. So under P, what happens? W is a Brownian motion. And W tilde is an Ito diffusion with its drift being minus gamma t. On the other hand, if Q is our probability measure of choice, if we want to look at things in terms of what happens to all the distributions under Q, then WT tilde will be a Brownian motion. And what will W be? Sorry, no tilde there. This is just plain W. Well, according to this equation, W will be an Ito diffusion with a speed of 1 because now W tilde is the Brownian motion, so speed of 1, and a drift of plus gamma t. I'm not going to give an explanation as to why this is true. You know, why, when you make this change of measure, do these two processes, the W and the W tilde, change their properties in this way, change their distributions in this way? But if you look back to when we first did changes of measure, you'll see an example there of changing a measure in such a way that a, a normally distributed random variable with zero mean it has a non-zero mean under the new probability, or the other way around. If it had a non-zero mean to start with, you can change the mean to zero. And that's essentially the same idea as what's going on here. Um, it's all somewhat more highfalutin written this way, but remember, a Brownian motion just says that you know, to be a Brownian motion just says that certain things are normally distributed, and what we're doing here is making a change of measure that changes those normal distributions to have different means. In terms of that overall process, that means you change the process to have a different drift. Maybe you can see where we're going with this. If we can change processes to have a different drift, we can change them into martingales. Um, a martingale is just an iso diffusion that's to say, an iso diffusion, which is a martingale, is one that has zero drift. So if, if the drift of an iso diffusion should be inconveniently not zero, 
then one thing we can do is change the probability measure to make it zero and so make it into a martingale, which is quite a useful thing to be able to do for various reasons. So let's think now about what Cameron Martin Gersonov has to say about etodiffusions, about general etodiffusions. So let's say we've got some etodiffusion xt, and that means we can write it like this, ut dt, vt, wt, its drift is ut, its speed is vt. And this wt, this is supposed to be the same Brownian motion that we were using in our discussion of Cameron Martin Gersonov. Uh, so when I first started talking about CMG, I just said let W be a Brownian motion, but we're now supposing that the process WT is actually the internal Brownian motion of an isodiffusion XT with respect to which its drift and speed can be defined. Okay, so that's where W comes from now. So we, we can write this, which is all very well as long as we're using the probability measure P, but if we were using the new probability measure Q, it might be more convenient to instead write it this way. Instead of having a W, let's have it in terms of W tilde. Because we know that under Q, if we're using Q, um, w tilde is the Brownian motion, so it would be handy to have things written in terms of W tilde rather than W. So that. So just to Again, these are both valid relationships, regardless of which probability measure we're using, P or Q, we, we could write the relationships between the processes in either of these ways. But if we're using P, it would be most convenient to look at the first one, because we know that under P we've got a Brownian motion W. So under P, the drift of XT is u t, that's u, and the speed is v t, but under q, the same diffusion, x t, has a drift, well now this is the drift, now under q, w tilde is the Brownian motion, so this must be the drift, And this must be the speed. Speed is still the same, it's still VT. And if it sounds a bit weird to go changing the drift and the speed, remember that drift and speed, as we originally defined them, are just uh, nothing but the giving you the mean and standard deviation of a certain normal distribution. It's the normal distribution of the increment of the process. Well, if we're changing the probability measure, that means we're changing all the distributions of all random variables. So it stands to reason that the parameters of those normal distributions should change. Um, actually, it's not a given that there would still be normal distributions at all. There might be some other distribution, but actually they're still normal distributions. All that's changed is the means of them. So what we can do with this is start with any old Ito diffusion we like, and through the Cameron Martin Gersonov change of measure, we can make it into an Ito diffusion with a different drift. And that's without actually changing the process at all, we we'll just change the probability measure. Now, what we most often want to do is change the drift to be zero. How can we do that? Well, remember, gamma t was just any old process we first thought of. So why not choose it to be minus ut over vt, ignoring for a moment the question of what happens if v is 0. Um, and then we've got the new drift will be 0. Which means it's a martingale.
So the upshot of that, and th this is the way that we most commonly use Cameron Martin Gersonov. We start off with some Ito diffusion, it can be any Ito diffusion at all, and then we do a change of measure, the CMG change of measure, that makes that Ito diffusion a martingale. It's very handy for things to be martingale. So there are many situations where you're looking at some expression and trying to spot a martingale in there. And if you're desperately looking for a martingale and there doesn't seem to be one, well, as a last resort, you can always change the probability measure so as to just make the whole thing a martingale.